Today, we're gonna to take a look at the top five applications that you can run on your Synology NAS. Now, these are my personal favorites, and I have tutorials for each of these that I'll leave in the description of the video, but the goal will be to look at them at a high level and hopefully provide a few additional ways that you can utilize your Synology NAS. So coming in at number five is Synology's Active Backup for Business. And this is an application that I think a lot of people don't use. And the reason I think is because Synology has the name business in it, and it gives people the impression that you need to be a small business or even a large business to use this application. Really all it does is allow you to back up your PCs, servers, or file servers to your Synology NAS. Now the two main reasons I love this application is the central management, meaning that I can go through and manage all of my systems at this interface here. So I can go through and make sure everything is backing up the way that it's supposed to be. And the second reason is deduplication. So what that means is I have multiple devices and they all back up to my NAS. But deduplication ensures that only one version of that file exists on the NAS. So you're gonna see here that after deduplication, I'm saving hundreds of gigabytes of storage space just by using this application. Not only do you get that, but you can back up different hard drives on devices at different times. So for me, what I normally do is I back up my C drive on my Windows device just about every single day. And then I have other hard drives on that PC that are backed up on a weekly basis because the data doesn't change that frequently. I can separate those with using Active Backup for Business. Now switching over to restoring files, I can either do bare metal restores, which means that I can restore the entire operating system and all of its files on the device that I initially backed up, or I can go through and use a restore portal where I can restore individual files or folders. So overall, the backup works well. It will save storage space on my NAS from deduplication. I can manage all of my systems in one location, and as far as restoration goes, I can restore to bare metal or by using the restore portal. It's an underrated tool in my opinion that you should definitely check out. Moving on to number four, we're gonna take a look at Docker. Now Docker is not a native Synology application, but Docker is an application that everybody should be checking out if you own a Synology NAS. The main reason is because for the most part, NAS devices are up 24 seven which means you can easily leave Docker running on your NAS. Docker allows you to run all different types of services from password managers like Bitwarden to DNS ad blockers like Pi-hole, or even network management software like the Unify controller. Docker containers are incredibly lightweight and portable as well, which means that if you ever decide that you'd like to buy a home server and offload your Docker containers from your NAS to a separate device, the data and applications can easily be migrated. Finally, Docker gives you control of things that native applications on your NAS might not, like hardware acceleration for Plex. If you aren't running Docker, it's slightly intimidating at first, but I tried to break it down as easily as I could and I'll leave a pop-up for that video now. Coming in at number three is the Synology Snapshot Replication Tool. Snapshots freeze files at a point in time and the frequency can be changed, meaning that you can take snapshots of your files every five minutes daily, or even weekly if you'd like. It's really dependent on how often the data that you have changes. The snapshot replication tool allows you to easily restore an individual file or folder, or you can even restore an entire shared folder if you need to. If you have a second Synology NAS, you can even replicate entire shared folders to that second NAS, which ensures that your data exists in two places. You can also switch over or fail over to that second NAS for system uptime purposes. This does require the use of the BTRFS file system, but can protect you from simple things like file deletion all the way to ransomware attacks. Please keep in mind that the snapshot tool shouldn't be used as a backup. And if you're interested in using the snapshot replication feature, I have a tutorial that I'll leave in the description because that portion is slightly more complicated than traditional snapshots. But as mentioned earlier, this tool should be used as an insurance policy rather than a backup replacement, which is why Hyper Backup is number two on our list. It's always important to understand that RAID isn't a backup, and while snapshots give you added protection against file loss, the data that's important to you must be backed up. Fortunately, Hyper Backup is one of Synology's easiest tools to use, and it allows you to back up shared folders, your DSM system configuration, or certain DSM applications to multiple different destinations, such as external hard drives, cloud services like Backblaze B2, 
or even a secondary Synology NAS. If you ever have to restore your data, you can restore it from your Synology NAS on a file level, meaning you can use Hyper Backup Explorer to navigate through your backups. If you need to restore an entire folder, you can do that too. If you lose your entire NAS, you can even use a Windows, Linux, or Mac device to read the Hyper Backup data and get your files back. Just keep in mind that while you can back up your entire NAS, you don't necessarily have to if all the data isn't important. It's also in your best interest to ensure that you back up the most important data that you have to an outside location in case something happens to the location where your NAS is being stored. This is why creating multiple tasks might work best for you. This way you can separate your irreplaceable data and back that up to a cloud location, then back up your less important data to an external hard drive or rsync server. This will help you save some money and ensure that all of your data is being backed up in some way. Finally, coming in at number one is my absolute favorite Synology application and it's Synology Drive. Synology Drive is Synology's version of Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive. You can install the Synology Drive application on your PC, log in with your Synology username and password, then sync a folder on your PC with your NAS. This ensures that anything that's added or removed from that folder will be added or removed from your NAS. In cases where you have multiple devices like a desktop PC and a laptop, simply installing the Synology Drive application on both devices will ensure that you always have your files on whatever device you're using. On Windows, you can also choose to store files on your NAS permanently. In this case, when you try to open a file on your Windows PC that's synced with your Synology Drive, the file will automatically download from your NAS. Any changes will then automatically sync back from the local device to your NAS. If you're a business or just want to share a folder with multiple users, you can also set up team folders. This ensures that multiple people can share files easily as the team folder will automatically sync to everyone's individual PC. Finally, Synology offers some pretty good mobile applications that can be used with a VPN or Quick Connect to access your files from anywhere. If you are using Quick Connect, you can also share files publicly with password protection and link expiration. Paired with Hyper Backup, you can easily ensure that your data is automatically backed up to the cloud without having to do anything outside of the initial setup. Synology Drive has changed my entire workflow and is by far and away my favorite Synology application. I'm hopeful that this video helped shed some light on a few additional ways that you can use your NAS. Synology has a bunch of other tools and they're all good in their own right, depending on how you wanna use it. But these are the top five applications that I use on a regular basis and that I think a lot of people will be happy with if they aren't currently using them. Thanks so much for watching the video. If this helped you out in any way, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like content like this, please consider subscribing to the channel.